One door closes, the other one opens. And I could not be happier for my man, Jay Lethal. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, he was the one who got picked up uh, over at AW. Sounds like you were happy about that. You oh, know? To death, man. Um, I just could not be happier. He's one of the guys that when I would be asked, no matter where, who's out there that uh, on the Ring of Honor roster? You know, or, or really just sort of out there. But Jay always re-up with those guys. He had a sense of loyalty. So hats off to him. But Jay is a... I believe, and it, my track record speaks for itself. When, you know, and when I was uh, a, a part of a decision-making team, Jay has unbelievable talent. He ha he's diverse. He can he cannot just get it done in the ring. He can tell a story in the ring in so many different ways. But he can talk. I mean, his impersonations are hilarious, but they're compelling. But but that just shows sort of the range, uh, like like a singer. Uh, J Jay can do a lot of things and he does a lot of things well so i could not be happier for him uh you know while we're talking about ring of honor there's one specific talent uh, i wanted to get your thoughts on uh what do you think of dan Housen? i love him it, it it's it's a, i do it's um tell you a quick story but kikio uh at highspots.com we did a virtual signing and i think he was either coming up Dan Housen was either doing a, a virtual signing, either coming up or just done one. And Michael's like, you don't know who Dan Housen is. And I said, oh, come on. He goes, of course you know who he is. Uh, a unique talent. Um, and, and, you know, it's not a guaranteed if you're unique that it's going to be successful. But in his case, he's got such a, we're talking about him. I think that says a lot. You ask me out of everybody out there right now, you ask about him. So so I, I kind of think that's proof in the pudding. I, I love him. He's a unique talent, unique skill set, and he's going places. Cool. Um, well, uh, we talked about Ring of Honor. Uh, you mentioned Impact. Uh, I wanted to get your thoughts on kind of uh, what, what you thought of the Impact AEW relationship and where it leaves Impact now that that relationship seems to be done for the time being and AEW is going to be not working with them right now. Again, um, it's easy to armchair quarterback so many things, but I have no idea, wasn't in the room, didn't really know what they wanted out of it on either side. What were yeah. their goals? Were their goals aligned? Was it a Don Callis, Kenny Omega uh, relationship first? I'm not saying the only first. W what was the really end goal? And, you know, Demore was on there that the night that that uh, color commentary, and it, it felt like there was, uh, I hate to use that old term, synergy. Um, but I have no idea what their goals were, but it goes without saying, I'm a huge proponent. A lot of people like to say online, oh, either side didn't get anything out of it or one side got more than the other. You know, I think that is being so hypercritical. At the end of the day, I think it's great for the industry because it creates a sense of freshness um, that you don't normally get. And I completely understand why WWE and, and Vince – Look, they 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 they're not that isn't their business model, but when you get outside of that WWE realm of things, the number one and they're they're so much bigger and so much more profitable than everyone else. I kind of think you're doing a disservice if you don't work with other promotions and try to figure out a way that when you go into a relationship again, this is where I'm sort of going with that. I don't know that if the decision makers didn't go into the, the to to the mindset, how can I help the other promotion? I have no idea. But I think if it's a, 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 a both sides coming together and say, how can we help you? Then you end up uh, making a long-term uh, beneficial relationship. Yeah. I mean, I know you're a proponent of, you know, working. I mean, Tony Khan's like MO has been, you know, the, the whole forbidden door thing, right? He like coined that phrase. I, like, I, I take it you're a fan of how he's been able to work with multiple promotions and and bring those kinds of experiences to the fans, yeah? For sure. You know, forbidden door is, is something that, is that an oxymoron? I, you know, what's forbidden about it? it, is, it I mean, and I don't, I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just like, what is forbidden about it? Because I think it's a, um, you know, if you look at the, how the territory business was built on, Andre the Giant, you know, he was a touring attraction yeah nwa champion was a touring attraction so you know it's super clash three three promoters got together i'm just trying to think there's there's many in, you know the super cards in florida years ago guys would be sent in from all over um 
it's, so anyway, I, I think the collaborative effort has always been, you look at uh, Japan and Mexico and how they've worked together for years and years and years. So not sure what's forbidden about it, but I think it's, it's something that um, it's so beneficial to the promotion. And of course the end result is the fans uh, win out of it. Yeah.